How can Lucy Mack Smith's testimony of the Book of Mormon strengthen us? One of the most powerful witnesses of the Book of Mormon in the early days of the church came from Lucy Mack Smith, the mother of Joseph Smith. Lucy had the rare privilege of handling the golden plates as well as the Urim and Thummim and the breastplate while they were covered with a cloth. She may have actually seen the plates uncovered as well. Lucy Smith was intimately involved in bringing forth the Book of Mormon and bore testimony of the book throughout her life. For example, while leading a group of immigrants, Lucy inspired them by comparing their journey to Lehi's voyage across the ocean. During the voyage, a man heckled her yelling, Is the Book of Mormon true? She replied, The book was brought forth by the power of God and translated by the same power. And if I could make my voice sound as loud as the trumpet of Michael, the archangel, I would declare the truth from land to land and from sea to sea and echo it from isle to isle. Years later, after the Hans Mill Massacre, the survivors found comfort through a song written by Lucy. It was called Moroni's Lamentation, and is a reinterpretation of the last great Nephite battle. For these people who, like Moroni, had seen so many friends and family members die, the song meaningfully paralleled their own situations. Lucy Max Smith's testimony of the Book of Mormon remained firm throughout her life. When people confronted her about her faith, she appealed to the Book of Mormon. When challenges came her way, she drew strength from its inspired pages. It served as an anchor of hope in a chaotic world. Her example of unwavering commitment to the Gospel can inspire us to also anchor ourselves to the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon can be our anchor when people or circumstances challenge us or our faith, as it was for Mother Smith. And now you know why. <laughs>